Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Nick Roosh, and I am the Research Data Management Librarian at Florida State University Library. I am also the coordinator of the STEM Data Fellowship Program at FSU Library. Today, I will be presenting Developing Career-Ready Students via a Data Fellowship Program at FSU Library. Here is a brief overview of what I will be covering today. First, I will give some background on the program and the inspiration for creating it. I will provide an overview of the program and its focus areas, followed by a brief overview of the structure and some of the logistics of the program. Then I will discuss some of the work and projects the fellows have done over the first three years of the program, Finally, I will conclude by discussing some of my observations, challenges encountered, and future goals for the program. As we all know, over the last several years, there has been an increasing demand for data science skills in the workforce. More and more employers are looking for new graduates with the skills to critically evaluate data, along with skills in data analysis, data visualization, and data literacy. Because of these needs, Florida State University has begun investing in the creation of programs and curricula designed to enhance student success in these areas. This includes the creation of an interdisciplinary data science master's program and a digital literacy requirement for undergraduate students. On a related note, FSU Libraries has spent the last 10 years or so standing up a suite of research data services, uh, particularly in the areas of research data management, data analysis and visualization support, open science, and GIS services. Engaging with undergraduate students around good data practices, in these areas um, can be seen um, as an area of potential growth, given what I have spoken about previously. So seeing as though data science skills are increasingly essential for our students as they enter the workforce, and that FSU Libraries is investing in new initiatives to advance open and data and has some established work already, we felt that there was an opportunity to invest in our students and show our commitment to building out the next generation of data scholars. Um, in order to meet these needs and enhance our data services work at the libraries, I led the submission of a strategic initiative proposal called Building a Community of STEM Data Scholars. This proposal was accepted as a pilot project by the FSU Library Senior Leadership Team to begin in the fall 2021 semester. The main component of the initiative was the creation of a STEM Data Fellowship Program, wherein FSU Libraries would provide opportunities for students to teach data-related curricula and provide peer-to-peer -peer data support and outreach to fellow students in academic by doing so, student data fellows be able to directly contribute to the library's research data services program and expand its reach. There's also a professional development aspect of the program implemented, wherein fellows are able to enhance their knowledge and skills in specific areas to help them prepare for those future careers. Within the Data Fellowship Program, most of the work can be categorized under these key areas. Uh, those areas being teaching and instruction. This includes assisting with um, FSU Libraries data workshops, developing asynchronous modules and tutorials around data tools. It includes research data support, meeting with students to answer questions related to data analysis software, 
finding data or using the library's data resources, outreach and engagement, promoting the library research data services to students, talking about data topics through events, blog posts, etc. And then finally, professional development for the students. Um, this can be achieved by guest speakers at group meetings, conferences, learning how to use new tools, etc. And I will talk a little bit more about some specific examples of work that we have done in these areas later on during the presentation. Now I would like to provide an overview on how the program is structured and some of the logistics. The Data Fellowship Program is currently funded through the Florida State University Libraries. Three Data Fellows are part of the program each year, and each fellow works approximately 10 hours per week. Each Data Fellow typically spends about two to three years in the program. We typically recruit from the STEM disciplines, or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but students from any discipline who have experience in data-related research or tools are considered for the program. When a new data fellow first joins the program, they go through an onboarding and orientation program for about the first four weeks of the program. They learn more about the FSU libraries, our data services, the STEM team where this program is housed, and have the opportunity to meet with several librarians to learn more about their work and their career trajectory. Each data fellow has biweekly check-in meetings with the program coordinator, myself, to touch base on what they are working on, ask any questions about their projects, et cetera. The fellows also participate in periodic group meetings. These are held to foster a cohort and a sense of community amongst the fellows. The format varies, uh, but has included discussion sessions, guest speakers who have expertise in various data topics or areas, et cetera. Now, while no work, work week is exactly the same, some of the tasks that the data fellows typically work on in any given week may include staffing our walk-up or office hours. Um, and these are specific hours where students can come to the libraries and ask questions related to their data projects. And each fellow staffs these for about one to two hours each week. Uh, participating in workshop development, teaching or assisting as a helper at a library data workshop. And I'll talk more about workshops um, in a couple of minutes. Each data fellow also typically has one to two individual research projects that they are working on at a given time. The fellows also collaborate on blog writing, or outreach events, uh, and I will talk more about this as well coming up. Now, for the next part of the presentation, I would like to go over a few examples of projects and initiatives that the data fellows have worked on over the first three years of the program. Due to time, I cannot possibly cover everything that the fellows have worked on. There is quite a bit. But this should give you a good idea of the kind of work that they are doing. The projects that I will cover include data workshops, a machine learning symposium, Love Data Week, and then finally blog posts and social media. The data fellows play an important role in supporting our data workshops at FSU libraries, uh, particularly workshops that are part of our Data at Your Desk series. 
the data in your desk series is an established workshop series at FSU libraries. It's been going on since about 2019. So the actual series predates the program. Um, and in this series, we partner with colleagues in and outside the library to teach introductory sessions on various data analysis and visualization tools, along with topics related to data literacy or data science. The fellows initially serve as either Zoom moderators or helpers for these sessions. The fellows then go on to either design or um, teach or co-teach workshops as part of this series based on their expertise and interest. Um, and to date, the workshop, the data fellows have designed and taught or co-taught several workshops on topics such as R, SQL, Git, GitHub, and data science. The fellows have also developed several asynchronous modules or tutorials using platforms such as Canvas or Jupyter Books. These materials are intended to complement the workshops and provide students with a, another avenue to learn material. Um, we are also in the process of working with some departmental faculty who are interested in these modules to integrate them into their courses as supplemental material. So building on the workshops that we talked about on the last slide, uh, one of the data fellows organized a library-wide symposium on the topics of data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. This symposium took place during the fall 2023 semester. The symposium, which was entitled Empowering Minds Through Data Science and Machine Learning Symposium, featured student speakers and a faculty keynote speaker who were performing research related to machine learning and artificial intelligence. The data fellows collaborated with several folks in the libraries including myself, the library's marketing team, and the library's engagement team to organize and promote the event. The event was promoted through the library's social media channels, as well as university-wide announcements and newsletters. A reception was also held at the end of the symposium to facilitate networking among attendees and allow for further conversation. The event was very successful with 34 in-person attendees and 16 attending virtually. Um, and there are currently plans to offer this symposium again sometime during the coming academic year. Another exciting event that the Data Fellows have participated in is our Libraries Love Data Week programming. For the last two years, so 2023 and 2024, the Data Fellows partnered with the Engagement Librarian, the FSU Libraries Marketing Team, and myself to organize the library's events and activities for Love Data. These activities have been promoted through the library's social media channels, as well as through blog posts on the library website. Uh, some of the activities um, that have been offered during Love Data Week, uh, many of which have featured the data fellows or were ideas of the fellows themselves, have included tabling events, at the libraries featuring various games and prizes, um, a hot chocolate bar, and data workshops. The fellows also engage the student and university community through the FSU Libraries blog, which is featured on our library website. The fellows have co-authored a number of informational posts on various data-related topics. 
these articles are targeted at a more general audience and particularly at undergraduate students and are meant to provide a non-technical introduction to trending data topics or promote various data events or services at FSU libraries. There have been a number of articles written over the last three years with topics such as big data, data analysis, evaluating data, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, and love data. The fellows also write a post during their first year introducing themselves and their motivation for joining the fellows program. In addition to the blog posts, we have recently begun partnering with the library's marketing team to produce Instagram Reels. Um, this is a relatively new venture. We just started this during the past academic year, and it has only been events focused up to this point. Uh, but we hope to extend and build upon this in the future, because uh, as you'll see on the next slide, we have seen quite a bit of engagement from students um, around these Instagram reels. So on this slide, you can see some statistics for a selection of the blog posts that the data fellows have written over the last three years, uh, plus some data regarding the Instagram reels that I just referred to that the data fellows worked on with our marketing team last year. Um, these are total views um, as of July 18th of this year. Notably, the evaluating data through a critical and ethical lens blog post was featured in the January 27th, 2023 edition of ARL News, which is an email newsletter sent to um, libraries in the Association for Research Libraries. Um, also, a blog post highlighting Love Data Week this past February received the highest total that we have seen so far for any of the blog posts authored by the data fellows um, with over 3,300 views. Now, while they, this may be a bit of an outlier for the blog, um, you can see that the other posts um, and the Instagram reels also have very consistent um, engagement with the community. So those are a few examples of projects that the data fellows have worked on. There are many, many more projects, but for the sake of time, that is all I will cover here today. Uh, now I want to discuss some things that I have observed over the first three years of the data fellowship program. The outreach and engagement conducted by the data fellows, uh, particularly in terms of blog posts, social media, the events that they have participated in um, has led to increased engagement with students around research data, um, as you've seen by some of the statistics that were presented. Uh, the workshops and tutorials developed by the data fellows uh, really provide them with valuable teaching and speaking experience. Um, this is the first time that many of them are developing such sessions and teaching other students. Um, and this really helps them build those skills um, and prepare them for future opportunities. A good example of this um, is one of our previous data fellows was able to land a teaching assistantship position for graduate school and they credit their experience as a data fellow as a major contributing factor in securing that. We have also made efforts to integrate the student data fellows into the broader STEM team working environment. Um, this allows them to gain experience and skills um, working in an office environment as part of a team. Um, we have noticed that both the data fellows and the library's faculty and staff 
benefit from cross collaboration and the exchange of ideas and expertise. And as I briefly alluded to a moment ago, skills learned in the program, um, both technical and those non-technical skills, have successfully positioned several of our data fellows for full-time job opportunities, graduate assistantships, and internships. Now, as with any new program, in addition to um, the successes, there are also some challenges and growth. Uh, one of the biggest challenges continues to be securing sustained long-term funding for the program. As we all know, academic budgets are tight. Um, if you recall, um, this program was initially funded as a pilot. Um, now that we are entering year four and the program is more established, um, we are continually looking to secure the program long term. Another challenge is the time and capacity um, for one person, myself, to lead and develop the program while balancing other job responsibilities. Um, student schedules also tend to be very unpredictable. Um, so scheduling meetings, events, and even working out in some instances can be a challenge. Um, and this definitely requires flexibility and creativity. Um, having a dedicated space within our office area um, has also been a challenge. Um, as I mentioned before, um, we really like that we've been able to integrate the fellows into um, the team, make them feel part of the STEM team, but having a single dedicated space for them to work um, within that area um, is an ongoing challenge as space is tight across the board. And while I have provided examples of some of our successful outreach strategies, there have also been strategies that we've tried uh, that have proven less fruitful. Um, some examples, um, include reaching out directly to uh, student organizations or registered student organizations on our campus. Uh, this has been hit or miss, particularly since their leadership and goals change frequently. Um, the data walk-up hours that I mentioned before, um, while they have seen um, a slight uptick within the last year, um, it is still a challenge to um, get any engagement or see students taking advantage of those. Um, and we're evaluating right now how we want to move forward with those in the coming year. In terms of future goals for the program, we are hoping to further integrate the fellows into our ongoing data instruction efforts in the libraries, um, this includes partnering directly with departmental faculty um, or possibly designing workshops or instruction on data literacy for incoming first year students. Um, we hope to provide um, the opportunity um, for the data fellows to collaborate with librarians outside of the STEM team on longer term research projects. I'm also hoping to keep previous data fellows connected to the program through the establishment of a data fellowship alumni network. Uh, this will be a great resource, community, and connection for the new data fellows and for the libraries as a whole. Uh, finally, I'm also hoping to develop a fellow-to-fellow -fellow mentorship program where more senior fellows have the opportunity to gain leadership skills and serve as mentors to newer fellows coming into the program. Finally, I want to thank several people um, shown here on the screen for working with me to make this project and the fellows experience thus far as a success and for all of their advice and encouragement. It would not be possible to stand up a program like this without your support. Um, and please
please feel free to contact me via email if you have any questions or want to learn more about the program. Thank you.